Hello to Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Today, we're visiting a drive-in. The drive-in. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here. That it is. The 12th annual NSVA Film Festival presents Just Dessert, A Cannibal Stale, Sunrise, Ham, A Documentary, Samurai vs. Conquistador 2, The Return of the Conquistador, and Mexican Handoff. I, I would watch a few of those movies, I think. But first, pages. Yes. The Taken were always single-minded. They had a certain animal cunning, but they weren't very intelligent. That's one reason why they prefer melee weapons. Actual firearms are too complex for them to use. That's why seeing the one who threw grenades at me surprised me. But of course, they aren't actually grenades. There's no pin to pull, no fuse to set off an explosive, just concentrated darkness. Hmm. Well, spoiler for an enemy we're about to see, I guess. How far back can I? I can't go much further back than this. Alright. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. Uh, I would like to go back to this and this one. The atmosphere in the projection booth at the drive-in was charged, almost unreal. Despite that, the air felt cool and refreshing this late at night. It'd been a hot day. The summer was nearing its end, but it wasn't over yet. Nice. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. This last page is the thing we got for looking at the stars. There wouldn't be anything out here, right? It's you. Mmm, that's fantastic. Are you okay? Go away. No, I want you. Alright. But you'll get angry if you're here. So, you gotta go. You know I'll do what you want. Okay. Yep. I, I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? Are you gonna hurt me now? Cause you should. Lady, you got darkness on the brain. I think I can help you if I can get the lights on in here. You can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So where shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on accidentally? It's the big building on the other side of the drive-in, but it's locked. Where's the key? Just so that I know to avoid it. It's... It's on the wall, next to the cash register. But you can't. You can't. Don't be bad. Hey, no problem. I'm just gonna go do some other stuff. Scout's honor. Mm. Alright. Just try to stay calm. I I've seen this kind of thing before. I think you're gonna be okay. Why did I... Why is it so hard to think? You've been touched by darkness. It's... I'm hoping it's not permanent. Remember when you were here before, and you kissed me, and then everything got all dark? That was the best. Listen, this is very important. Where did he... I mean, where did I go? Can you tell me that? Baby, you don't need to go anywhere. You're here now, and you're in my head. You should be in me. You should touch me again. Not with a ten-foot pole, lady. Oh, you don't know that. 
And what happened if I use the power of the sun? I guess nothing. All right. Hey, just in case there's a part of you in there that's freaking out right now, it's not your fault. I promise I'll do what I can to help you, okay? I... I don't... Please go away. Don't sweat it. I'm just saying that in case you really need to hear it, I've been there. I... I think there are spiders in my eyes. I think you put them in me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go now. And she doesn't just back away like all the others. Nice. Alright. Well, let's fix her problem. But first... And we're back with old gods of Asgard and their manager, Barry Wheeler. Guys, you're on your comeback tour, and you're playing a lot of your classic material. But you've also got a new single out, right? How'd that come about? Was it hard to go back into the studio after such a long time? Are you kidding me? They were chomping at the bit. They were just itching to stretch those creative muscles. Now, it had been a while because, uh, you know, they, uh, they spent a lot of time in, uh... Retirement! We were retired. We were? Yeah! No, 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 no. We were at the lodge, and, uh... We escaped. We were at the retirement, uh... Thing. Retirement thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, really, once we got in the studio, things started happening. Now, the music has changed a little bit, and the boys were a little rusty, so it took us a while to find the right gear. But, hey, once we got going, whoo, boy, they kicked ass. And it's an awesome song. It's called Balance Slays the Demon. And seriously, I think it's their finest work. And, hey, I should know, I produced it. Oh, really? I didn't know you were a producer. Well, this was my first time. I mean, they needed a little bit of guidance, you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, these guys are the best. But it's the 21st century, man, things just sound a little different these days. So, you know, I kind of stepped in there, helped them make it sound all cool, kind of jazzed it up. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Oh, no, it was really easy, man. I was just, you know, like, hey, give it a little zing, you know? Let's take it to another level so it really rips. Uh, you know, let's just throw some really sweet synths in, like that, you know, just kicked it up a notch. But it's totally old gods. Well, listeners, you can judge for yourselves. Here's Old Gods of Asgard, and Balance Slays the Demon. Oh, yeah. Now? In the ocean yep. Darkness. In the mirror of light, Balance becomes a stranger. And in your fantasies, he rides a storm on your peace.
Yay! It's pretty good. I wanted to leave it because it's important. It's unfortunate there weren't any uh, subtitle for it. But they talk about Wake a lot. The, there is a few passages that kind of give it away pretty pretty well, you know? Like uh, he lays in a deeper ocean. No, deeper, darker ocean steel. Uh, something about... Then after this, they were like something about wake and unraveling the light and all of this. It's uh, there's a lot of stuff in it. It's why I find it unfortunate that you don't get uh, the subtitle. The man has encountered this before. People whose integrity has been suborned by the insidious touch of the darkness. He has experienced it himself, but merciful light burned away the darkness in his brain. Yep. And also, if you like that group, you can look them up. They're not called the Old God of Asgard, although you can still find them under that name, but they're, they're called Poets of the Fall. Just in case you felt like, you know, looking them up. My right ear's block got worse. I didn't sleep much anymore. My life with Alice seemed like a constant fight. I was a wreck. Alice took steps. She booked a vacation in Bright Falls, a small town in Washington. It was supposed to be a chance to break out of the cycle I was in. She didn't know about the darkness in Cauldron Lake. Yeah, and this is something that's a little bit uh, special from the first game because you don't know if he actually, if it's just a coincidence that he ended there or if he was a lord there. Which, it feels more at the, the second option, that he was Lord. Because someone named Thomas Zane actually wrote... He wrote a poem, just like uh, Alan did. That would become real because of the darkness. So, big building over there, which mean... Over where exactly? This way? This one? Alright. Okay, gotcha. Not good. No, it's not. And this big boy here is a fan of the old god, I believe. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I was saying that uh, Thomas Zane was also a writer and he writes story and one of the pages that he wrote was that Alan would then uh, find himself on the... No, still can't do that. That Alan would find himself on the, the shore of Cauldron Lake or something along those lines. And because of this, I'm guessing at least, that's my own interpretation. Maybe you interpret it another way, but... Because of this, I feel like he was called in. And that's why he had his rider block in the first place. A car in flight. The car seemed to sail through the crisp mountain air in slow motion, spinning around one axis almost lazily. The moment was hypnotic. Then it struck the pipeline in a shower of sparks, the impact turning the windshield into a burst of safety glass. As it hit the ground, I snapped out of my reverie. The car was rolling downhill, slowing down as every bump killed momentum, but still coming. The fence wouldn't be enough to stop it. Alright. Anything else up there? Ammo. I'm okay for this. <gasps> My baby. This. Crossbow can pierce the darkness that protect enemy even without using the flashlight first. This weapon is extremely powerful. It can one-shot everything. I don't know if it one-shot everything that's covered in darkness though, because I never tried. But if they don't have darkness on them, it one-shots them, so let's test out. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you thought you guys thought you were tough, huh? Well, not anymore. You're not. 
All right, I'm going to go grab the, the ammo. Drawback of this, of course, is that you barely have any ammo for it. And I still have the nail gun. That I'm probably going to use for a minute. Uh, how am I going to go about this? Well, I definitely want to go over there. I don't know if it's the objective or if the objective's further ahead, but... Oh, look! Mr. Hero's here! You ready to save the day? One shot him at all. Uh, worth it. Honestly, the smartest thing to do here would be to use the nail gun and separate him, but uh, it's fine. In a TV show. Well, these are having fun at least, so, you know, that's good. <laughs> Page. Back of the car. Trunk. Yes, yes, yes. It's been two years since I came here. Being that long without Alice breaks my heart. And I know it broke hers. I know she thinks I'm dead. How could I blame her for that? It would be a crime to pretend that she owes me anything. She took all the stupid, self-indulgent bullshit I brought into her life and still stood by me. Still loved me. It's no betrayal. But I'm a better person now than I used to be. I want to be that person with her. Well, hopes it works out for you, man. Hopes it works out. Really quickly check around here. Nothing on the radar, so let's move on to our objective. Oh, there's something over there. Maybe a page. Man, this area is huge. Not want to jump that. Well, 
I went all the way around for nothing. Alright. Don't want me to go inside of you though. Right here. Alright. You're gonna shit yourself when you realize what I've done. Shut up! I guess it's just an impression. I thought uh, this thing was shining, you know, to indicate that I could shoot it and maybe it would break. But I guess not. This way? I'm gonna guess I can't open this, but... Nope, I wish. anywhere nothing all right here we go well I guess I'm gonna have to go right so let's go right let's move this along Secrets. Alice, my wife. The best thing that ever happened to me. She smiles and the darkness lifts. For her, I tried things I otherwise never would. I've never really minded if it's made me feel like a fool. She's a photographer, and the world she sees through her lenses is unique and beautiful. She has the vision. She sees things others don't and knows how to make them visible to everybody. She did it with me, too. She teased out things I was only vaguely aware of. She always saw me in the best possible light. Oh, well, that's nice. Um. I go in? Probably right. Okay, I should be able to figure this out. Oh, so that's not good. What happens if I do this then? Oh, I get it. The one that are blinking and the one that are supposed to be on. Yeah, success. Oh, shortcut. Thank you. Aren't those guys nice? Well, 
Oh, that hurt. Alright. Fair enough, I was being impatient. Why do you specifically blink? You know what? I will let you do that. around here doesn't look like it wait why can't I come all the way over here if there is nothing my my stupid oh there it is I was stupid well I guess here and I'm back where I started oh I'm out Success! Well, let's go this way this time. You have no idea how badly you're screwed! It's gonna be a blast to watch you find out. Don't wanna get hit by those. Ah, don't worry about it. It's not that difficult to avoid them. There's also a gimmick with those explosion things is that uh, Everybody get hit by them. get hit by these. So if there is enemy around you while those things explode, they will go down. Which you would think that uh, darkness friendly damage wouldn't be a thing, but it is. Don't. Oh, you exist. Don't. I love the crossbow, it's just so cool. <sighs> but I'm still impatient to try out other weapon like the shotgun, the magnum and all those. I mean, the combat shotgun, we tried out the shotgun already. No, it's just lights, alright. It kind of strange because. Wait, 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 wait. Well, so that was the thing that was lazily spinning and that was hypnotic, I guess. Wasn't there one of you somewhere here? I guess not. But yeah, like I was saying, this this is a little bit weird to play for me because I want to not miss anything. You, sir, I figure out my strat. You know what? You don't deserve to, to die in one shot. That's right. You get nailed. I can smell you. I can smell you out there. Oh, well. No, don't. Oh, it's not. It's you. Did. Did you help me? Looks like you're feeling better now. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. I don't know what happened. There was this guy. Before you say anything, I know I look like him, but I'm not. Don't worry. You just don't feel anything like he does. He was in my head. I feel like I need to take 50 showers. Where is he? That asshole wanted to get into the projector booth. He was talking about fixing things so the sun never comes up. God, it didn't seem that weird when he was saying it. It sounded really good at the time. You weren't yourself. The projector booth. That sounds about right. I need to get in there. I have the access code for the door. Here. Thanks. I'm just glad you showed up now. He said he'd be back after he'd arranged for some security. Well... Do you feel up to telling me what's going on here? We have an art exhibition here, supposed to open tomorrow. I'm the curator. My name's Serena Valdivia. 
Alan Wake. Holy shit, it is you. I didn't... I mean, I've seen you on the big screen. I... I know your wife. You know Alice? Wait. Big screen. Yeah, we have a film from her here. What the hell happened to you? Getting back to Alice. Oh, God, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's quite a coincidence that you're here. She made this short film. I mean, she shot it years ago. You're in it. It's a part of the exhibition. I'm in a film? Yeah, it's like... I mean, it's just footage she shot of you at some point. But she turned it into this... thing. It's, a uh, almost like a memorial of sorts. Because, you know, you're supposed to be dead. Or... something. Uh-huh. How's Alice? Is she alright? She's... okay, I guess, all things considered. I know her pretty well. You're really Alan? I can't believe you're here. Nobody knows what happened to you. But there are people who say they've seen you. That wasn't me. It just looks the same. Like, you know. Yeah, but that guy's a lot more slimy. The thought of him makes me... I hate him, but I... There's something about him, this... God, he's so creepy. Anyway, you're not like him. At all. I hope you can stop him. I'll try my best. Well, to the booth, I guess. All right, I got a crossbow and a dream. Let's see what you can do about this, Mr. Scratch. That's the security system? I guess it was too much to hope for an alarm and a fat renting. Probably, yeah. the security I think we good hey oh I thought he was here destroy the dark fountain I'm trying but there you are make way please ow Damn. This way. I'm I'm looking at the mini map now. I'm seeing uh, where they are. Okay, cool. Boom. I'm gonna die if you touch if somebody touch me. Ooh. Never look at the night sky, but it's very pretty. I like it. <sighs> okay, mice. My beautiful mice, if you could behave. There you go. Yeah, sometimes my, my mouse roll thing doesn't really behave very well. The champion of light can feel the fragment of the signal in his pocket. The weapon that can change what will be. It's incomplete, but it's all he has. We can do it. Take the manuscript. It was late at night. The summer was almost over. What kind of choice do I have? Yeah. 
anything else back there Ooh. while I'm at it no it doesn't look like it can I play this nah uh, what did it say it was summer was almost over What's happening? Oh, hell, this isn't going right. Uh, doesn't look like it. <laughs> You've been up to something, haven't you? Too bad it's not gonna do any good. I'm a better you than you ever will be, and I've got all the time in the world. Everything you've got's going to be mine. Your life. Your wife! <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? The sun's never coming up now. I can keep this up forever. Show yourself! Whatever you say, buddy. And we're back at the beginning. Or at least that looks like it. That looks like it to me. The rush of darkness is unstoppable. Time itself twists and tears, sweeping the champion of light back with its dark currents. Again, he enters the world. But now he sees the trap for what it is. A maze that loops back into itself. I'm... I'm here again. They sent me back. Yep. You sure did. And that's the gimmick of the game and I love it. Anyway. I'm gonna stop it right here. So like always, if you keep... Words. If you could leave a like or a dislike, uh, leave a comment telling me any kind of thing, and also if I'm good or bad, or if you eat well that day, that's good. And also subscribe, that would be the thing that helps me the most, that can make this channel into something very good. You know, like a wizard for example, that would be good, right? Or maybe a pirate, that would also be cool. And there's also a bell, but you do whatever you want with this. And with all of that said, I bid you a glorious day, and I'll see you on the next episode of Alan Wake, uh, American Nightmare. I almost forgot the title of the game. Bye bye <laughs>